Hi, I'm Aaron Dyke and I'm here at the 41st Annual Sports Spectacular. I'm here to interview a bunch of athletes. Is, is it scary bobsleighing? First time is terrifying, actually. Uh, it's kind of like a roller coaster ride, but there's no seat belts and it feels like you can fall out at any moment. Did you ever play against someone you, anyone you idolized? I actually had the chance to play uh, with and against Bjorn Borg uh, a couple weeks ago at a charity event in, uh, in the British Virgin Islands. So, uh, yeah, that was very exciting because when I started watching tennis, he was the best in the world. What did it feel like to fight against each other in a Royal Rumble? Not good. We're still suffering from that. In fact, every day when I wake up, my jaw still hurts because he hits harder than anybody else I've ever been hit by. We were never so happy to see the giant come in the ring. So we, we could quit beating up on each other. How do you take all that stress on the mound all by yourself? How do I take the stress? Uh, well, I've been playing baseball since I was a young boy, a uh, young kid. And you don't really uh, focus on that a whole lot. You just feel prepared and ready to go. What did it feel like to be MVP? How's it feel being MVP? Well, uh, when, when they make you the MVP, they're trying to tell you you're the best player in the league. And that was feel great. I, uh, I enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. Because as uh, you, can, you can see, there's not too many, too many people have the opportunity to be an MVP. And uh, did you ever think about playing a different position? Yeah. I thought, you know, I thought it was good enough to play third base, but uh, I, I, I think it was better off in the outfield. What's your best memorable moment? 1985, when we clinched the division, and I dropped down on my knee. Who are you most excited to see today? Uh, Daniel Nestor, he's a big uh, Canadian tennis star. I was also really excited to meet uh, Jim Ralph, color commentator of the Leafs, because I do uh, the broadcasts for the stars on the radio as well, so kind of someone that I've grew up kind of idolizing and following. So those are kind of two people for me. Thank you. No problem. How many gold medals have you won? Uh, I have four Olympic gold medals uh, from 2002, 2006, 2010, and 2014. Thank you. You're welcome. What was it like earning your first win? My first win was really special because the day before I played my first game, I was playing for Oklahoma City in the minors, and my general manager for the May Police, Jim Gregory, called me and says, Mike, we've booked you on a plane. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, you're going to start the game tomorrow night in Detroit. So I flew all the way from Oklahoma City to Detroit and beat the Detroit Red Wings 3-1 to one in my first game. Thank you. You're welcome. What did it feel like winning the Stanley Cup? <laughs> Well, it was obviously great, right? I mean, uh, something you dream about as a kid. And, you know, you put all the work in through the years, and when it finally happens, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's quite the unbelievable feeling. What does it feel like to be in a commentary? Uh, it's great. I played, uh, I played hockey my whole life growing up, and obviously I'm too old to play anymore, but... Uh, by, by broadcasting the Toronto Maple Leaf games, um, it's as close as I can come to still playing. So it's, it's, it's neat for me to do the same thing now that I did with, when I was five years old, and that's go to hockey games. Thank you. Uh, can welcome, you buddy. sign this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed all the interviews.